Okay, I'm at the Wachusett at Reservoir. I know that I come here a lot, whatever. But I'm like just, I want to say west of the, oops, of the Old Stone Church. It's just, just down the shore. You gotta go around a cove over here though. And there's like two or three brooks that you gotta cross to get to this spot. But it's a really cool, ledgy spot. Actually, the, you gotta climb back up. The trail goes over there and up. There's a couple of dudes fishing here when I got here. There was one dude that was sitting here where I am now. He left, obviously. And there's another dude I was talking to over there. He's a little bit further in that direction. And, uh, they both said that they've had no luck today. They fish. But at least it was a really nice Saturday. I was just thinking about the Pink Floyd song, Goodbye Blue Sky, because... That's the last of the blue sky, I think, for today, because this is all. Actually, uh, I could be wrong. That might be a little bit of blue over there, but it might be just grayish clouds, but it definitely got cloudy out, which doesn't surprise me, because it's the weekend. It's, like, nice all week, and you're stuck at work. But at least it was a nice Saturday today. I can not bitch about today whatsoever. I had to come out. There's a lot of people out here fishing. I see another dude over on this side of the shore. We're gonna have a, there's railroad tracks going along the, the length of the shore over here. Those go into Worcester right near my house. Up, up, you know. You can follow the railroad tracks that way. And it would bring you to Worcester. This way it will bring you into Sterling and then eventually Clinton, I believe. I don't want to lean out too far, but the, there's a bridge over here where the, the tracks cross over a little bridge where the water from the Quinnipoxite River comes into the reservoir. That's not too far from here, where the bike path is and stuff. Route 190 is over this way. The road that I take to drive to work, it's west of here. But yeah, you can see a little bit of the causeway over here near the stone church. That's Route 12 and Route 140 to uh, State Roads. <clears throat> route 140 stays right here in Mass and goes from Winchenden in the north all the way down to New Bedford in the south. But Route 12 is, goes through three different states. It starts down in Connecticut at the south end. I don't know the name of the town. It might maybe Groton. And then comes goes up through Connecticut and then into here in Massachusetts. Goes through Worcester and then up through Central Mass and then it's in New Hampshire. Actually, it goes through four states. So it goes through New Hampshire, then it crosses the Connecticut River and goes up through Vermont all the way up to the Canadian border. I've been along quite a lot of its length, but not the whole thing. There's lots of sections of it in New Hampshire and Vermont. I've been along in Sandow, Connecticut with the Massachusetts segment of it I've been through almost pretty much the whole length. I think there's like one section like down at Webster that I'd never been on. That's the southern end of Mass before you go into Connecticut. Alright, I'm going to stop rambling. This video is pretty long. This is the Thomas Basin, which is like the westernmost and west, southwesternmost section of the Wachusett Reservoir. Laters.